Hey guys, today I will show you how to set up NetSN 2AC1200 wireless dual band gigabit Wi Fi router. Connect one end of the included power adapter to the device and plug the other end into a wall outlet nearby. Then power on your NetSN 2 Wi Fi router. Plug it into the internet cable to the WAN port on the rear of your NetSN Wi Fi router. This is the reset button. When your NetIS router is powered on, you say pin or pen to press and hold the reset button for 10 to 15 seconds then release it. The router will reboot and all configurations are back to factory default. Connect your mobile or computer to the router using an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. The network name and password are usually on a sticker, which is on the bottom side of the NetSN2 Wi-Fi router. Once your mobile or computer is connected to the Netis Wi-Fi router, open a web browser and type netis.cc or 192.168.1254 in the address field, then press enter to visit the Netis router's web management page. Now log in to your router's panel. Type the administrator username and password. You can find the default login username and password on a label underneath the NetSN2 router. First, type your login username. NetSN2 Wi-Fi Router Default Login Username Guest Then, type your login password. NetSN2 Router Default Login Password is guest at last 4 to 6 digits of LAN MAC address. Then, click on Sign In. Select the language you need on the top box. NetSN Wi-Fi Router Default Language is English. Then Quick Setup Page. Select your internet connection type. If DHCP is selected, the router will automatically receive the IP parameters from your ISP, Internet Service Provider. If static IP is selected, please type the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS servers given by your Internet Service Provider. If PPPoE is selected, to set up this connection you will need to have a username and password from your Internet Service Provider. If you do not have this information, please contact your ISP. First, type your PPPoE username. Then, type your PPPoE password. Under the wireless setup, configure your wireless network name, SSID, and Wi-Fi password. Confirm or change the wireless network name SSID. Type the name SSID for your 2.4G band wireless network. Type the wireless network name SSID for your 5G band wireless network. Set a password to secure your Wi-Fi network. Type the password you have chosen in the box next to the password. Wi-Fi password must contain at least 8 characters. Then click on Save to finish the NetSN2 router setup. Click the end screen to change your Wi-Fi password on NetSN2 Wi-Fi router. Please, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon to get the latest video update. Thank you for watching this video.